What's up, everybody? This is Emmett back in the studio. Super stoked and excited to talk about another MIDI keyboard. I just got this baby in the mail. Super stoked and excited to see how it works. Uh, I heard a lot of good about it. The ratings are high on it, and a lot of studios use it. This thing is really cool because it comes with knobs, pads, and a keyboard. So you have a lot to work with in a small, compact little keyboard. Including in this box, there's, a, of course, your MIDI controller, but there's also a USB cable and some instructions, and that's it. It's really basic, really simple. Simply just plug it into your computer, and most DAWs will automatically detect it. On Persona Studio One, it's a little bit different, so I'll be showing you how to do that. Ableton Live, really simple, and I'm sure on all the DAWs, it's very similar process. So, let's get started. Plug the USB cable straight from it right into your computer. And then what you're going to do is open your DAW. I'm going to show you in two different types of DAWs, uh, and it's really the same across the board. I have Ableton Live on here and the Studio One 5 Pro on here. So I'll start with the program I have already open. Uh, so this is my desktop, and I have Studio One 5 open right here. I'm going to start by pushing Song icon right up here and push Song Setup going to go over to options at the bottom left corner of this of this of this box and under this option setting there's five options up at top general locations audio setup external devices advanced you're going to go to external devices right here and as you can see i've added some in the past um but my mpk mini isn't here right now because i have to add it so i'm going to go over here to add and there's multiple presets already set uh, for different MIDI controllers, keyboards, instruments, as you can see, control surfaces. Um, some are on here, but most of them are. Uh, this one is more of a famous one, so it is on here. It's right here, AKI. Let's click that. There's multiple AKI keyboards and such. We want the MPK Mini. This is the one we have. And as you can see, it already has it right here in a little icon showing it. It's really cool. Let's make sure we uh, go down here to the settings of, of MIDI channel settings. Uh, let's go from receive from. You have to actually uh, kind of program it of where it's receiving it from. As you can see, the only option here is the MPK Mini 3, and that's the one we have plugged in. So, of course, that would be it. Uh, go under filter. Go ahead and just select these. All it's really asking here is do you want to use these functions on your keyboard? If not, you don't have to. This is kind of more of a uh, advanced settings here but then we're going to go to a send to let's go ahead and just click mpk mini mini 3 there too and we're going to push ok button and as you can see it added uh, another instrument right here this is exactly what we want all right let's go to ok and as you can see i already have uh, an audio rolling this is an audio uh channel rolling for this recording right now anyways what we want to do to add an instrument is go to this little plus icon click that and let's call it AKI MPK Mini 3. I've already actually named that on another take because, no, I I don't do one takes very well. It takes me a long time to get small videos done. Thank you for your condolences. But anyways, what type? We, do we want audio, instrument, automation, or folder? We want instrument. Uh, audio is meant for recordings and stuff. We want instrument. Um, you can collect, select your color and whatnot, but the input, this is where it gets important. Input, we want, uh, we don't want any of these. We want MPK Mini right here. Let's not worry about the outputs right now. Let's push OK, and look at that. It brings it up right here. It's obviously receiving notes, as you can see as I play. It's completely making notes, so that's awesome. OK, what if we want to hear this instrument. It's obviously sending it properly to the software. Well, let's go over here to the instruments tab. I already have several instruments already in this software, but let's just be simple. Go to Personas and use some of their sounds. Let's go to Presence. Let's play a strings. Let's go there. Maybe I want a violin. And let's drag a violin full and just drag and drop it right there on top of my MPK uh, mini line. Let it load. And it brings up this page. And let's just see if it's working. I'm going to play something. Wow. 
Well, it is. All right, let's exit off. Let's see if we got here. So it's working perfectly. I'm playing the notes on my little MPK mini and it's showing up as MIDI notes on here. Let's try another instrument just for fun. I have a couple third party ones I wanna try. Um, let's see, I have a, a keyboard from uh, XL Audio called Addictive Keys, let's drag and drop and replace. It's gonna bring up this page and it's the Mark One. And let's see if this works. Okay, it works very well, let's X that off. And as you can see, it says it's receiving from the MPK Mini. Uh, if I would select any of these, it wouldn't be working. That's my other MIDI controllers I have around. Uh, let's X that off. Okay, we figured out how to add the MPK MIDI to Studio One 5, but now let's try on another DAW. It's all pretty much the same, but I do have Ableton Live Light on here. I have it opened up right here. As you can see, my audio is recording right now. Uh, let's go up to a MIDI channel. Uh, I have one already started right here, I already drag and dropped a piano called Addictive Keys. Uh, and I'm going to go over here and it says no input. It's not going to recognize my piano unless I push that. And it automatically configures, it already recognizes it, which is a lot simpler than Studio One. And you just click that right there. And let's, uh, let's see if it's going to pick it up. Hello. There it is. Sweet. And that's how you get started with plugging this thing in and getting it rolling on your DAW uh, or DAW and just start dragging and dropping instruments. It's really, really simple, super easy, and a lot of fun. The keys aren't as wide as a normal piano, of course, but uh, I think you'll get used to it pretty quick, especially when it comes to just making quick beats for your next song. You can program like everything on here. Uh, you know, because it's MIDI, you can program it to start in something to do to actually control your DAW, to for volume control to, you know what, just everything. And guys, that's it on the MPK Mini. Take care, everybody. Until next time, like, subscribe, comment. See you in the next one.